Veterans Day 2022 and today we are visiting the American Military Cemetery in Henri Chapelle about 20 miles east of Liege. It is the largest American cemetery in Belgium and it is home for 7,992 American dead soldiers who died, most of which died as the Allies pushed into Germany uh, shortly before and during the Battle of the Bulge. That means that it's an American, but there was no way to identify who it was. How do they know the names? How do they know? Well, most of the time they have uh, identification. So they... But this guy, or this person, well, we can't assume it's a guy. This person didn't have any identification, but maybe they knew his uniform was American, so they buried him. What did he get? What did he get it for? Um, he was killed in action leading the bombing mission for which he was rewarded the Medal of Honor. So this is the grave of P-47 pilot William Nellis the namesake of Nellis Air Force Base. Turned out to be a cold, brisk, but beautiful day. So this is the fourth cemetery we've visited in Europe, and they all have these operational maps uh, that tell essentially the same story, but each is unique in its design and how it looks and its material. I think so far this one's almost my favorite with the different colors and the different patches and. I just think this one's really nice looking. So this is sort of the much larger picture and then here we have a, a focus in on a certain part, uh, which is sort of essentially where we are right now. You can see Aachen and Stolberg in the Netherlands, so. So underneath this colonnade we have all of the 50 state symbols and then the names of 450 individuals who are missing in action looks alphabetical order uh, i think these symbols mean that they have actually been uh, recovered and, and buried <laughs> 